Not these right now, just this. Because I still have to give you a Benadryl before we do it. Do you have a Benadryl already? Nope. So what's today? September 25th, 2009. Are you going to the game tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Are these in the right places? Perfect. I heard you did a great job yesterday. Mm -hmm. Was that fun? Proclamation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Was, I hope it was inspiring. Mm -hmm. I think it was. It was. There wasn't a dry eye in the house when you were done. I'm going to watch it on YouTube. Watches Jay Leno every day. <laughs> and tell her what book you just bought that you're reading. That you... Ted Kennedy book? Yeah. Autobiography. Uh -huh. He was reading it on the way over. He said, I can totally relate to this guy. I can. <laughs> we have a bunch of things in common. Such as? Never, we never want to give up. We're inspiring. <laughs> um, we're not mellow. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can attest to that. <laughs> Did you know, Catherine, that Ted Kennedy had a 12-year-old with cancer in the 70s? Really? His son, Teddy Jr., had osteosarcoma in the knee, and he, he has his leg amputated to this day. Uh, didn't one of the, didn't uh, Grandpa George Bush have a kid throw with Yeah, George W., they lost a daughter to leukemia. I think that's how we got childhood cancer. Yes, George W. did that in 1990. But... I, I had never knew Ted Kennedy had a 12 year old in 1973, yeah, I didn't know, I didn't and he's now a successful lawyer. And um, but he says he talks in his book about it and how that the clinical trial ended like midway through their treatment and, and all the other people in the hospital with them, and like a lot of the people there were like, "There's no hope." Well, they couldn't afford the treatment at that point, and so they were all like, "Well." What's going to happen to our child if we can only afford six more months or nine more? Right. And he said that's what just made him, made health care like his main goal. goal in life was seeing all the, you know, they had, they had the resources, obviously, mm -hmm. but the guilt he felt, you know, sitting around watching these other families, kids that they knew, you know. That they, they felt could, guilty, probably, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. And it show the things on your legs. All right, so mm -hmm. I'm going to get shots today. They're called PEG. That's chemo and mm -hmm. muscle. And I'm going to get three. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, how do I turn this off? Say it again. <laughs> 